Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.18 in the morning. Um, today's topic is leukemia kills itself. Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosome space, the electrons, light, the magnetism, a particle, and momentum, the receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? Um, so, uh, scientists have been playing around again, or they're always playing around, right? That's what they do, scientists. Um, and f for, for this topic, we're talking about, uh, blood and blood-related, uh, tissues and organs and whatnot. So, uh, they were doing research in blood, bone marrow, which is where blood comes from, um, and various other blood aspects, uh, red cells, white cells, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and one of the things that they, you know, they, they play around with um, proteins, enzymes, um, all this various stuff and how it relates to these cells and tissues. And this time they're looking at antibodies. Uh, antibodies are the uh, immune system molecules that help with fighting disease in the body. Um, you know, they take out viruses and bacteria and whatnot infections in the body. And those antibodies, I guess there's a whole slew of them, and they were, they were playing around with 20 of them. They were testing 20 or so antibodies uh, and seeing how they impact, again, um, blood, blood cells, and blood-related tissues like bone marrow, um, blood vessels, and whatnot. And so with one particular antibody, so every antibody uh, every cell has receptors for the antibodies. There's receptors on cells for, for about any chemical. For, uh, you know, if it's supposed to pick up an enzyme, there's a receptor. If, if it's supposed to pick up electrical signals, like in neurons, there's receptors. Uh, and in this case, for antibodies, there's some cells have receptors that um, are sensitive to certain antibodies. And so, with one particular antibody, they were finding... Um, not sure how they found this, but again, they were playing with 20 of them and just seeing what happened. They found that with one particular antibody and with bone marrow tissue, it would convert the bone, it would convert immature bone marrow tissue into cells that generated platelets, and platelets are another part of blood. Um, I think they help with clotting. So, so they found that association if you had immature bone marrow and this particular antibody, and I forget the name of the antibody, and um, but when you applied that, uh, it would give them um, platelet generating cells. Um, being uh, being blood related, they, they looked at leukemia as well, and leukemia is the cancer associated with these um, blood, blood cells and tissues, and blood related tissues. Uh, so bone marrow uh, cancer is a type of leukemia. Blood, the, uh, blood cell, uh, red cell cancer is another type of leukemia. And so, checking with this leukemia and the effect of antibodies on this leukemia, the same, uh, the same antibody that that took bone immature bone marrow and made it uh, platelet generating cells uh, affected the leukemia differently as well and it turned it into what did it turn it into it turned it into um, a cell that helps the immune system um, which is cool uh, you know it's interesting to to take something that um, that is associated with disease like cancer and being able to manipulate it and convert it into something that that uh, helps with healing uh, or the immune system. Well, they they kept they kept the exposure of that, and again, this is all in the lab, so in petri dishes and whatever. Um, they kept the exposure on those leukemia cells, and they did a couple things with uh, uh, the environment of the dishes and whatnot, and it turned those uh, immune system assisting cells into natural killer cells. Now. Natural killer cells are these cells that go out and just start wiping out disease. Um, they don't really need any kind of... See, a lot of times antibodies... Um, the body will create an antibody for a specific type of 
uh, for a specific type of cell. Uh, these natural killer cells, they sort of go out and they, they kill all kinds of disease. So these natural killer cells that derived from leukemia after exposure to this one antibody started killing off, you know, all these other infectious diseases. And so they tested it when they had the natural killer cells in the same area as the leukemia cells that it came from, it was wiping out like 15% of, of what was going on there. And they're trying to figure out why. They, so all this stuff, they don't understand why any of it works. But trying to understand why this natural killer cell delete derived from leukemia was wiping out all the leukemia. Um, and I guess the, the, the tendrils that were created sort of rip through all the all the leukemia close by it and so it had a huge effect a great effect to test it they they took these natural killer cells derived from leukemia and they put it in a dish with like uh breast cancer uh cells and although the natural killer cells do, still did kill off the breast cancer cells it wasn't as effective so Many, many questions here. A, why why this particular antibody? Why is this antibody creating change in these cells? Um, why does it take a leukemia cell and make it a natural killer cell? And why then does that natural killer cell derived from leukemia wipe out leukemia so much more effectively than other cancer cells? So with every, re you know, with all research, there's a ton of questions. They will take these questions and do more research with them. Um, it could be a huge breakthrough for leukemia. It could be a path to breakthroughs for other types of cancers. Um, you know, maybe, maybe taking this antibody or other antibodies, uh, you know, against a breast cancer cell, maybe that converts that into a natural killer cell. It, it, it's all... You know, the human body is this, it's still this huge, huge mystery. We don't understand even close to, to any of it. Um, who would have thought that, you know, with, with a little bit of manipulation, uh, something that everyone fears, everyone, you know, hates, cancer has, has been such a huge impact on our lives, and take actual cancer cells and turn them into, you know, immune system cells that are beneficial. <laughs> um, of course, with every... Uh, effect that seems to be cool and good. Uh, there could be bad side effects. That's why we do tests. Um, you know, what if these natural killer cells don't stop and they just keep going and they kill off more than just leukemia cells? Um, or maybe there are impacts to that anybody that we don't realize. And you know, so with everything, there there are impacts that we may not understand. But um, this research is kind of cool. It's got people in the leukemia fields very excited. Um, we'll see where it goes and how far, how far they can get. So there you have it, leukemia that kills itself. Um, I gotta head off to work. You gotta go do whatever it is you do, and we'll talk to you next time.